Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric. Now these shared electric scooters are fine for a short hop around a city, but they don't begin to compare to high speed and high power electric scooters. That's why I'm going to show you guys the five fastest electric scooters we've reviewed here at Electric. First things first though here, I want to cover safety for a second. Now when I ride fast scooters, I'm usually wearing a full face helmet, a crash jacket, long pants, boots, gloves, etc. In fact, I'm usually wearing my actual motorcycle gear. Some of these scooters can hit speeds as high as 50 miles an hour or 80 kilometers per hour, which makes them dangerous. There's no beating around the bush here. These things are super fun, but they're also dangerous, and we have to be realistic about that. Now, I'm not your mother, and I'm not going to tell you not to ride vehicles that can be dangerous. I wouldn't tell you not to do something that I do. But I will tell you that you need to seriously think about the proper safety gear when you're riding scooters like this. And of course, always ride responsibly and within your skill and comfort limits. I'll put links in the description below to some of the safety gear I use, but you should stick with whatever is most comfortable for you. Alright, so that's my safety lecture. We've gotten it out of the way. Now let's check out these fast scooters. First up is the Dualtron Thunder. This scooter is famous as one of the most intense electric scooters out there. It features dual motors, each rated for 2.7 kilowatts of power, for a total of 5.5 kilowatts. It's also got a gigantic 2.1 kilowatt hour battery. That's about four times the size of a standard electric bicycle battery. Just don't try and carry this scooter very far. It weighs 95 pounds, or 43 kilos. The Dualtron Thunder can hit 50 miles an hour or 80 kilometers per hour, though I definitely didn't spend very long at those speeds. It's a thrill, don't get me wrong, but to be honest, I find it more fun at around 35 or 40 miles per hour because I can spend more of my energy enjoying the ride and less of it on hoping I don't die. But if you want to hit 50 miles per hour on a standing electric scooter, the Dualtron Thunder is one of the few ways to do it. Just make sure you're saving up because this is also the most expensive electric scooter on this list at $3,800. Next, we have the Fluid Freeride Mantis. This one is rated at 40 miles an hour or 64 kilometers per hour. But to let you in on a little secret, I actually hit 42 miles an hour or 67 kilometers per hour on this scooter while riding on flat ground. So it's nice to see that the scooter actually over delivers. The Mantis electric scooter is rated for 2 kilowatts continuous power between its two motors, though the peak power is certainly even higher than that. The 1.5 kilowatt hour battery is a bit smaller than the Dualtron Thunder's 2 kilowatt hour battery, but it still got me over 40 miles or 64 kilometers of range, even when I was riding in turbo mode. If you slow down a bit, you'll go even farther. One of my favorite parts of the Mantis electric scooter is the suspension. The dual swing arms just work so well and allow you to ride the scooter just about anywhere. And the price ranges from $1,500 to $2,000 depending on the model and components, meaning that this is one of the less expensive of the high-speed electric scooters out there. Up next we have the Curus NF. This one has the most unique look I've ever seen on a high-speed electric scooter. It looks like it's straight out of a Transformers movie. The scooter can reach speeds of up to 43 miles per hour, or 70 kilometers per hour. While the other scooters on this list all felt great at high speed, this one seemed a tad bit more squirrely at its fastest speed, so I generally rode it in the 30 to 35 mile an hour range. The 3.6 kilowatts of power distributed between the two motor wheels gives it plenty of power to climb hills or accelerate quickly and it even comes with this neat little deck extension that you can use for your rear foot. With a retail price of $2,800, it is a bit pricey, but it's a high quality scooter with a very unique design. So if that's important for you, then you'll have to pay the big bucks. Next up, we have the Turbo Wheel Lightning from E-Wheels. This bad boy does 40 miles per hour or 64 kilometers per hour and has a total of 3.6 kilowatts of power between the dual motors, just like the Curus NF before. But with the dual swing arm suspension, I'd wager that it performs a bit better on potholes and other urban road hazards. The battery isn't as large on this scooter, coming in just shy of 1 kilowatt hour, but that also helps keep the price down a bit too, at just $1,690. 
Again, this isn't super cheap when you compare it to budget electric scooters that only go 12 or 15 miles an hour, but for a 40 mile an hour personal mobility device, the price is actually pretty good compared to the rest of the market. Last but not least, we've got the eMove Cruiser. Compared to the rest of the list, it almost seems slow, pegging the needle at just 25 miles per hour or 40 kilometers per hour. But when the ground is whizzing by just inches from your feet, 25 miles an hour still feels plenty fast. And with just a single 1.6 kilowatt peak motor, the weight of the eMove Cruiser is a bit lower too, coming in at 52 pounds or 23 kilograms. That almost makes it portable. Almost. You still get nice features like hybrid hydraulic disc brakes and a 1.5 kilowatt hour battery. That big battery, combined with the lower top speed of 25 miles per hour, means the scooter can easily hit a real-world range of 50 miles when riding at top speed. Most people won't need to go that far, but the big battery also means you can get away with charging the scooter around once a week or maybe even every other week, depending on your commute. And as another nice benefit, the eMove Cruiser is the least expensive scooter on this list at just $1,399. Or use the coupon code ELECTREK to take another $100 off the price. Not too shabby. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, why don't you give it a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you can check out all of Electrek's electric vehicle videos. See you next time.